How to Take Ultimate Revenge on the Narcissist. How to hurt the narcissist in return for everything they have done to you. You feel like they tricked and deceived you and you want to take revenge on them. After everything they did to you and then they just walked away without any problems or worries. It makes you feel like you were treated unfairly. So you might try to take revenge on them. But then you find that some of the methods you tried didn't work. It didn't affect them. Because there's really only one way that you can take revenge on a narcissist. But many of you who don't know what that method is may have already tried different things. You may have tried acting more alert and lively, acting like you're busy or engaged in certain activities. You might start going to the gym or doing your hair or makeup differently because you want them to take notice of you. You want them to feel like they're missing out on something. You want them to feel like they've lost something valuable. And it's not always because you want them back. Maybe you just want that validation that they never gave to you. So you might go out of your way to get their attention. You might start dressing up or going out places to make them feel like they're missing out. But you're not doing it for yourself. You're only doing it to make a point to the narcissist. To promote a certain idea. To give attention to something that they wouldn't otherwise notice. You want to make them think that you're doing good without them. So you start dressing differently and posting pictures on social media and you're thinking that it's going to make them jealous. But the narcissist can actually sense why you're doing those things. They already know exactly the reasons why you're going out of your way to do that. They know that you're trying to have an effect on them. When you start acting like you're enjoying yourself without them, they know it's not real. They know it's just an act. They can see your true intentions, even while you're trying to make them believe something else. It's very difficult to mask your true feelings or intentions around a narcissist. They can sense it. They know when it's just an act. Another way that many of you may try to get revenge is by using someone to get over them might try to attract someone else's attention. Think of that it's going to hurt the narcissist. Think of that it's going to make them jealous. But this always causes more problems. It always has unfortunate consequences. Because you're hurt. You're vulnerable. And you're just looking for someone to comfort you. You're looking for someone to make you feel better about yourself. But this never works out because you're not in a clear state of mind. It will just cause you to end up in another failed relationship. Or you may end up with another narcissist. And you're just going to feel worse. So I don't recommend looking for someone else in an attempt to get revenge on the narcissist. It's not going to be good for you. 
people can tell when you're hurt. And this game is not going to work with a narcissist. Because this isn't the first time they've done this. They're already prepared for what is about to happen. And they will already know why you're doing what you're doing. Because they've done this before. And they already know the effects that it has on people. They already know how you're feeling. And they know when your actions are a result of those feelings. They've studied human behavior and picked up on people's patterns of behavior. So they already know how you're going to react. When they've discarded you, there's no mystery or concealment. You are easily understood and interpreted by the narcissist. They already know how you're going to react. They already know what you're going to do. So when you're trying to take revenge of them, they're laughing at you. Because they already know why you're doing it. So it's not going to affect them. They've seen this happen before. They know why you're doing it and they just see it as a game. They've done it so many times that it just becomes routine to them. It's just a sequence of actions that they regularly follow. There's no emotional connection to it. Because they've seen the same thing happen again and again so many times before. They've seen people trying to get revenge on them. And when you're trying to get revenge, it just tells them that you still care a lot. Because it shows in your actions. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be trying to hurt them. You wouldn't be trying to get revenge. So when you're doing all of this, it's just giving them supply. It's just telling them how significant they are to you. It's just telling them that you still care. You may think you're hurting them by going on dates and posting pictures, but the narcissist is not going to see it the way you think they'll see it. They can read through your actions and they will know that you're only doing that because you're still hurt. They will know that you're just trying to get revenge. They're just going to see it as though you're only doing it because you don't have them or because of what they did to you. They know that everything you're doing is because of them. It tells them that you still care. It tells them that you want them back. Because they see it as though if that was not true, you wouldn't be trying to hurt them. You wouldn't be trying to get revenge. It just tells them that you're not happy with the separation. Because if you were happy with that, you wouldn't be trying to get revenge on them. You put in all of this effort in an attempt to prove a point to them. But you're really just wasting your time. Because it's not going to do anything. It's just going to cause more problems for you. It's going to turn you into a person that you don't want to be. You will end up becoming more like the narcissist. It's almost like you will reverse the roles. You will become everything you said they were. Well, they will then look like the victims. It's just going to turn you into something you never thought you would be while not having any effect on the narcissist. Because they're already expecting you to do something. They're already expecting you to take revenge. 
They know that you're going to be watching them. They know that you're going to be keeping an eye on where they're going. They already know all of that. And that is why you shouldn't put yourself through this. Because they're just going to see you as a fool. And even after everything you do to them, they're still going to be laughing at you. They're still going to be seeing it as a joke. Because while you're hurting and you're trying to take revenge on them, they're already distracted by something else. They're too busy thinking about something that is completely unrelated to you. They don't even see what you're trying to do. It doesn't even affect them. They're not even thinking about you. There's always going to be something more important to them. Their minds are always going to be on something else. So they're not going to be missing out on anything. They're not going to be thinking about you. And the more time you spend trying to get revenge on them, you're just going to be hurting yourself. You're just going to become something you never thought you would be. You're going to become more like the narcissist. And it's going to become your standard way of living and behaving. It will cause you to develop habits where you are still attached to them, where you are unable to move on. It will become an unhealthy obsession. You will become more like the narcissist while well, they're still doing the same thing, it's not going to affect them. If you want to take ultimate revenge on the narcissist, just ignore them. Don't take any notice of them. and just move on with your life. Don't try to get their attention. Don't worry about what's going on in their lives after you've left them. You shouldn't be concerned about what they think. Having a narcissist in your head is not good for your state of mind. It's not going to do you any good. It's unhealthy to worry about what a mentally ill person is thinking about you. You need to move on with your life. Start focusing on yourself again. Do things that you enjoy. Focus on things that you want to accomplish. When you do that, the narcissist will immediately sense it. They're going to know when you're at peace with yourself. They're going to know when you're free from anxiety and distress. It creates a distinctive atmosphere and quality that surrounds you. And the narcissist will sense it. When you're at peace with yourself, when you finally find real happiness, they can see it. They know there's no way for them to come back. They know that you don't care about them anymore. And that is what affects them. When they know that they're not important to you anymore. When they know they're not significant. Nothing affects the narcissist more than when they feel like they can't affect you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, 
my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.